And Brian, I'm so delighted to say that Georgia Stanway is back in her comfort zone, if you like. She is the England superstar, of course. You tasted that incredible, amazing victory at Wembley on Sunday. Can you take us back, Georgia, to the moment when you knew you had won it? Um, I think it's surreal. I think when that final whistle went, it was just a full mix of emotions, um, relief, the fact that we spent the, the nine weeks together, we'd finally reached the end goal. Um, yeah, potentially, I think, if not, the best day of my life. We saw shots. So, of, of course, we need to kind of say why you're here. You are a rugby league fan, first and foremost, but you're also dating the Toulouse fullback, Ollie Ashelbot. You're here to support him, but he was there at Wembley to support you as well. We see these incredible shots. Uh, I think we'll see them in a moment of him embracing you after that historic win. What did he say to you? Um, he just couldn't believe it. Um, he just kept kissing me, he just kept saying how proud he was. Um, yeah, I'd not seen him for nine weeks, so to see him at the, the biggest game was obviously the most important for us. Um, but yeah, he literally just said, enjoy the moment, literally live, just live it, um, be present, enjoy it, soak it up, um, and yeah, just enjoy every single minute of it. What was the after party like, just out of interest? <laughs> um, yeah, it was very, very good, it was very good. Um, yeah, Ollie was a little bit late to training. Um, I don't think his manager manager mind too much. Um, but yeah, celebrations were long overdue um, and yeah, massively enjoyable. Massively, um, uh, well, it was a huge victory, wasn't it, for, for England, soccer, uh, football, for women's sport as a whole. What, what kind of impact do you think that this will have on women's sport? Um, I personally and the rest of the girls, we actually believe that we've changed lives. Um, we believe that we're going to support and we're going to help the next generation of, of footballers, of female athletes, um, of female coaches, female teachers, just making sure that people are comfortable and making sure that people enjoy it and just just yeah, just yeah, bringing that side of the game out where people enjoy it, people want to want to watch us, people want to play with a smile. Um, yeah, just kind of bringing a new lease of life. You wouldn't have heard this, but when Brian Carney threw down to us, he spoke about the past and your connection with Brad Walker, with Jax O'Neill. Have you heard from either of those? Yeah, they were the first to message me, first to wish me well and the first to say um, well done at the end. Um, yeah, I've got a really good relationship with them too and obviously through Ollie as well, I've met loads of um, loads of rugby players, loads of friends, um, yeah, all wishing us well, all um, rooting for us. We actually had um, Beth and Tommy Makington at the game on Sunday um, enjoying that as well. Um, so yeah, just makes it more special to be able to share it. Georgia, am I right in thinking before your football career, there was a, there was a, a perhaps a, a slight career in rugby league. There was there was. Um, I think I got to about twelve or thirteen, and everyone was growing too big for me, and I was no la no longer allowed to play with the lads. Um, so my mum said I've got to look after my face, and I've got to take football up instead. So no regrets then. No, not not at all, not at all. Well, I do know that you love this great game of ours. What do you love about rugby league? Um, I think the biggest thing is the fans. I think no matter what, they stick together, win, lose, draw. Someone takes a hit, someone's injured, someone there to support. I think the fans and the, the connection between players and fans is massive. Um, and that's what, brings it, that's what brings it together and that's what makes it the sport that it is. I touched on this before, but you, you're here to support your boyfriend, Ollie, who plays for Toulouse. It's been a challenging season for Toulouse. How confident are you, though, that they have what it takes to stay up in Super League? Yeah, I'm massively confident. Um, hopefully he brings it out the bag tonight. I'm expecting a big performance since it's one of the few games that I've been able to come and watch. Um, but no, they've got a really, really strong side and I think it's only a matter of time. Um, they're playing themselves into really good form and hopefully they're not leaving it too late. Um, yeah, just hoping they all just put up a good fight today and obviously get it over the line. Can you talk to me a little bit about being together and you're both at the top of your sports. What is that like and what kind of support do you offer each other? Um, I think the best thing that we have is it's just easy. I think no matter what it is, we just support each other. Um, his sport comes first, my sport comes first, and we always make time for each other. And I think the biggest thing that when we're living together and obviously when, when we're obviously doing it separate now, I think it's no matter what happens when you get home or no matter what happens when you speak to them after training or after a game, that nothing else matters. Well, Georgia, you are watching the game alongside me today, which I'm delighted about. Are you a nervous watcher? Um, no, I'm not, to be fair. Um, I might chew your ear off a little bit and you might get a few hits here and there. Um, but no, I'm, I'm excited. So am I. Thank you so much. And, and just the biggest congratulations. You have done England extremely proud. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.